All right, on today on Code Shorts Daily. <laughs> that's right. What are we looking at? Code Bed Daily. I'm looking at NBA, NHL stats guy. What do you got? I'm looking at tonight's big bass at the SCG. Big and- bass. Wow, you're going fishing. Yeah, yeah if, if you want. And then I'm looking at the Australian Open night too. And Alex, what do you got? I got a lot of FA Cup action in a sneaky big bash bet. I like it. No more big bass. I like <laughs> it. All right, check out Cobet Daily. It's going to be sick. Hey, it's Cobet <laughs> Daily. We're back. We're back. How good is this? Tuesday, January 17, apparently episode 31. So we've been told. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. All right, You're good the job, stats guy. guy. <laughs> I'm your host, James Clements. Uh, I'm the editor of Code Bet. That's a very good website. Go check that out. All your odds, comparisons, and analyses. Yeah, I think that's, think that's what we go with. That's what we go with. <laughs> uh, stats guy's here to my right. How are we? I'm very, very, very excited. A bit of mill mania. I like how he's <laughs> asked a question, like how are we, and then just taken off his own oh, I, I already know how you are. It's all good. <laughs> That's good. And Alex Alex is over there. He's actually finally done some work. That's handy. He's a guy who's here to do stuff. I like it. Uh, Code Bet Daily. We're, you know, we're going to be all about Code Bet and Daily. Yep. Yeah, I got it. do everything. What it says on the tin. Very simple, straight up stuff. Uh, today we've got player props. We've got some game picks, best bets uh, for the next 24 hours, basically, I think. Yeah, yeah. that sounds about right. Well, mine's yeah. actually, my first one's a future. It's a bit of a cheat, but uh, we'll get around That's that. That's all good. Should but you right. can put the bet on today. I can, <laughs> and I actually might. Right, uh, what are we looking at? I'm looking at NBA and NHL for today. I've got one big NBA future, a couple of games for tomorrow. Uh, Stats guy, what do you got? Yeah, i got a bit of Big Bash and Australian Open night too. Ooh, loves his Oz Open. Absolutely. Absolutely flying last night. He uh, dogged me with a couple of his picks yesterday. Yeah, that's I had about 15 well. picks, but that's Don't okay. Don't tip oh, Spanish in round Milman, one on hard courts. Milman and Medvedev, I'm um, happy with both of those. <laughs> I like it. Alex, what do you got? Uh, go on the BBL and FA Cups. My Australian Open bet kicks off at four, and that might be too early. I like it. We're running the gamut of sports. Absolutely. Just guys being dudes over here. Just <laughs> like, rock. Let's just talk about sports. <laughs> right, player prop. I'm going to do a dumb one to kick this off. Um, my favorite one, just sort of like NBA head. That's what I'd do. Uh, LeBron James. He's kind of yeah, good. I know that guy, yeah. See, this is it. I can throw that out there. Yeah. You guys go, I know that guy. Yeah. And away we <laughs> go. LeBron is 38 years old. Yeah, I, that's ridiculous. It is absolutely. I groan when I get off this couch yeah. and I'm basically his age. I like, woke up just, with a sore back this morning and I'm 31. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> he is currently 151 to 1 for MVP. Okay. Now, let me make a case. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Okay. That's 29.2 points a game. That's his fifth most his entire career to date. That's pretty He's good. been playing 20, 20, years. 20 years. 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. He's at 29, over 29 points a game. He's going downhill, That's not nuts. uphill. 8.4 rebounds, seven assists a game. The case is he's carrying this Lakers team right now. They're sort of here and there struggling. He's missed a game or two. Yep. But again, he's 38. He's carrying the Los Angeles Lakers. They stink at the moment, right? They're 19 and 24. They're playing Houston later today. Yeah. They'll probably lose that. To, oh, to Houston. I dare say LeBron sits that one out on a back to back. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. The Sixers. That'd be a really bad loss. <laughs> yeah. Home and home back to backs. But I think basically yeah. the case is you've already got Luka, you've got Jokic, you've got Giannis, uh, you've got KD, you've got Embiid. Yep. They're sort of your favorites at the top. But the narrative. Oh, the narrative. The narrative. <laughs> the NBA is always about the narrative when it comes to the MVP. Even though you want to take it as like a one season snapshot. Yep. And who was the most valuable player? Watch it turn. Like, yeah. It'll yeah. happen later this season. Anthony Davis will come uh, back in the next two weeks. They'll make a run. They make a the run. The West is wide open. Um, I think if you've got the outside of the top three seeds where you've got basically New Orleans, Memphis and co, um, it's anybody's. Yep. Absolutely anybody. What do you think so, the Lakers are going to finish up then? Well, this is it. So they're currently out of the play on tournament. Yeah, but- And they're, I believe, 13th. <laughs> so yeah, <yep>. this <laughs> just feeds into run. the narrative, right? <laughs> Can you Who win- took them from 13th all the way to fourth? There was all LeBron James. He should win the MVP. So Can you win the MVP exactly- if your team- Sucks. No, it's almost no, but it's almost is this like Gary Ablett winning a brown line? Not when you finish up bad. Okay. Yes. But if you finish up okay, we saw Russell Westbrook win it, I think as a six seed with OKC. Yeah, if you finish up in the playoffs and not if you end up in the playoffs, you've got a chance. Basketball, I need to ask these questions. You got a chance. So NBA playoffs. You now the cutoff is the six. That's automatic playoff contention. Top ten. The other four play in tournament. If the Lakers, who are nineteen and twenty four at the moment, they are only three games back. It's close. Yeah. Of the LA Clippers. In six. Yeah. That's how close this is. Six and they play 13. like 800 games. So. Exactly. So <laughs> Anthony Davis comes back. They rip off like one eight-game win streak and they're back right in amongst it. Yep. We saw it literally happen when they won five straight like yeah, a week and a half ago. Yeah, that wasn't that far ago. And away yeah. they go. So yeah. um, 
with all this happening, three games out of six, five and a half out of fourth. Like if they end up with like home court advantage in the first round of the playoffs. Yeah, they got a big chance. LeBron should win the MVP. Because yeah, okay. they'll go, oh, Anthony Davis was the thing that changed this. Like, no, 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 who was the guy the entire time? And Anthony Davis isn't going to steal any MVP votes from him either because yeah. he's sat out for small. He'll probably get injured, injured again anyway. Injured uh, with his uh, <laughs> Good job, bird, bones, bird bones and clag <laughs> keeping him together. Um, but there you go, 151 to one. It's just too, almost too good value to not just go, oh, there's a sneaky 10 on that one. Oh, there you go. Watch yeah, out. Okay, okay. So just saying. And uh, Joel like Embiid's at 15 as well. Just saying. Yeah. He's only yeah. there, what, He's second leading scorer at the moment. Very underrated. Dominating. Yeah. Because um, you have that feeling that Luca has been so hot and so good that he might just sort of plateau a little bit for the second half of the season as the uh, the workload takes its toll. But LeBron, 38, is insane. Crazy. Get around him. I love that one. <laughs> nice. Yeah, very nice. Stats guy, what do you got? Yeah, I'm going to have a look at the Big Bash. So tonight's the Sydney Sixers and the Adelaide Strikers. Um, I'm really liking Sean Strikers. Abbott. Strikers. <laughs> the Strikers. Yeah. Apparently I said that this morning. Yeah, you did. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm loving Sean Abbott. He's the leading wicket taker of all time in the Big Bash. So he, all time? He, of all time. He's probably played up Could, there with the most matches. because he's yeah, never yeah. played for Australia. Yeah, like no, he has, played, <laughs> he has played for Australia. Yeah, but rarely. Yeah. So he's years. the best ever of all time? Yes, I think I said that. To yes, quote you, uh, yes, yeah. But oh, yeah, he's he's been on fire. He's the second uh, leading wicket taker this season as well. He's just he plays every game. He gets yeah. he's gone two wicket six games already. He's been this bowling season. heat as well. He bowl, he's yeah he's still he's getting a bit older now and he's still picking up his pace like one one thirties one forties which is pretty good. And he loves playing at the MCG. The last uh, what is it? three for in the last two games. So I think you'll get two wickets in this one. Yes, two stats, stats guy. Yes. Sydney Sixers play at the SCG, not the MCG. Oh, I said did I say MCG? Yeah. Oh, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, he loves playing at the SCG because that's where he's home ground is and he I think he'll take two plus wickets for two bucks yeah. love it who's that with you know uh, all, all of our yeah Bet365 and um, Labrokes I yeah. think yeah, yeah my LeBron one as well by the way I think that was through Bet365 and so was the uh, cool. Embiid one yeah. so anyway yeah. Yours, Alex. Yeah, yeah same game I'm a little tawny obviously being from the eastern suburbs of Sydney Sydney Sixers are my team but I'm on the uh, strikers as oh. that's going to say bandwagon <laughs> this season with uh, Matt yeah. Short and Travis Head's probably one of my favorite cricketers to watch, and he's back. Yeah, nice. For the strikers for the next couple of games till they go to India. But uh, I'm going to go with Josh Phillip here to hit two plus sixes, three dollars sixty with blue. That's bet. pretty good. <laughs> he hit fifty four on uh, Sunday night against the Scorchers, and he's slowly working himself into the big bash. He really last season he just went well, every at the game, start of the yeah, year yeah. and then plateaued. Yeah. And this year he's just hasn't done a lot, but he batted with Steve Smith the other night. And it was probably the best innings he's played so far. Two sixes to that. Short square leg boundary, yeah, which the left handers love taking advantage of into the sun soaked Bill O'Reilly stand at the SCG. I could see him uh, just, you know, clipping a few off his pads in there. $3.60. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I like it. Uh, and the Sixers to have the highest opening partnership as well. Uh, they've had that in their last eight big bash eight, games. Jeez. Well. $1.89 with better. Not bad. Very nice. I like yeah, that yeah. one. Right, match or game picks, uh, some sort of game-based bet. Mine are pretty straightforward. I'm just going to go to the NBA. Two of the big matchups tomorrow. There's only a four-game slate uh, yep. tomorrow after the MLK Day 9 game run today, yep. which is almost over. It's like really front-loaded throughout the day, which is really cool, really yep. fun. Yep. Also meant that I missed a couple. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> you like sleep. We've got two. We've got Milwaukee in uh, – in, no, they're hosting Toronto. And both of these teams – Bit scratchy at the moment. Yep. It's a yeah, weird a matchup. Inconsistent. Yeah, yeah. And with Milwaukee sort of, I don't know, Chris Middleton sort of in and out. Giannis has been dealing with his knee injury. The thing is the Bucks still cover the line at home no matter what. So <laughs> they're like, I think they're leading the league in home covering. So yeah, they're like wow. 15 and 7. Um, I'm still going to take them head to head. So with no odds yet at the moment, I'm going to go. They're 17 and 5 at home this season. Yep. I'm just going to stick no, with Milwaukee. Easy win. Even on a back-to-back, -back, I think it's just you have those moments of going, yeah, Milwaukee is still better. Uh, even without Giannis, maybe they rested him, maybe he comes back. I think he might rest this one. I still think they're deeper, better than Toronto. Second one, yeah, Philly go or stay in LA. I'm going to have to oh, go to yeah. Clippers over the yep. Sixers. Because where are they? LA. LA yeah. Yeah. Where have they stayed? LA. 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 Right. You know what they've been doing for the last two days? Partying in LA. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> LA is a good time. I'll tell you, Clippers, time. you've got Kawhi, Leonard and uh, Co., it's like Embiid should be able to feast. Obviously, they've only got big zoobs as a big man defender for the Clips, but just that perimeter attack, I think it would be a little bit too much for yeah, fast agreed. Jimmy Harden and co. So, yeah. I uh, basically, what's that? Milwaukee head-to-head, -head, Clippers head-to-head. -head. Uh, probably at the line, both of those two. Yep. Liam. Yeah, I'm going to have a look at the uh, Australian Open. So, I've been loving and love the watch, yes, watch it yesterday, all day yesterday. So, I'm going to have a look at the number two 
uh, in the world in the women's, Ange Jabeur from Tunisia. I think she's going to absolutely smash it in the first round. Jabeur. Jabeur, I think that's how you say it. Um, she, yeah, she's made the Grand Slam final in the last two Grand Slams. So Jeez. she's been, but she lost both of them, but so she's been Wimbledon very unlucky. in the US. Wimbledon in the US. She's, yep. um, yeah, so she, that's why she's up to number two in the world. She's been on fire lately. She's trying to become the first ever African player slash Arab player to win a Grand Slam, which is pretty cool. So she's- Oh, yeah, that makes sense. She's yeah. very, she's been saying that into every interview, I'm going to be the first player, I'm going to be the first player. Jeez, so you're talking about putting pressure on yourself. I know, yeah. I think she, I think, yeah. Leaning anyway. into it, I like it. She's yeah. just leaning into it and she's really killing it. She's been very unlucky not to win mm. one. I think she's going to absolutely tear it up in the first round and win with the total under 18.5 games at $1.96. So she has to pretty much- So if she goes 6-3, 6-3. Yes, so I think she will yeah, so think she'll win 6-3, 6-3. Yeah. Um, she's got just so much power on her forehand and I, yeah, I think she'll win this one easy. That's great. It's because yeah. it's basically a bet where it's like, I don't think you're going to get broken. Yeah, yeah, bang. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's, like a, it's not one of my bets, but Novak minus 10 and a half tonight looks a good yeah. bet in his game. He's a dollar first few two, rounds you can get but I think he's about a dollar 75 for that minus 10 and a half. And if, yeah. he, if you think he's going to win, you know, 6-2, six, 6-2, two, six, two, six, two, you're laughing. Nice. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Uh, Alex, what's your best game or your game bet that you're looking at? Yeah, well, I'm having a look at the FA Cup games that it's tomorrow morning. So I'll just throw three out there. You've got Liverpool taking on Wolves uh, in a replay. Liverpool cannot be any worse than what they are. They stink. They yeah. honestly stink. They they forget that you need to defend. If they didn't have Alison Becker, they would stink even more. The best keeper in the world. Wolves struggle to score. As Stats Guy and I said yes. last week, Wolves in, what was it? Uh, West Ham was going to, not West Ham, uh, Aston Villa. Yeah, no, it was West Ham. West Ham, yeah, that yeah, game yeah. was going to stink. It yeah, stunk. It, did, it was 1-0 yeah. to Wolves. Yeah. Surely Liverpool at home. Yeah, surely. If they don't win that, surely. I think they'll be right. Yeah, they'll, be, they'll be right. Oh, sorry, no, the, sorry. They're going to the Molyneux. They drew two all at home. They're going to the Molyneux, but surely they oh, can get the job done. Yeah. Two dollars and four after getting smacked by Brighton. They'll last be right if they don't. <laughs> this may be the last time I tip Liverpool if they get rolled in the morning. Sure. Um, and you got Swansea <laughs> over Bristol. Uh, Actually, what day is that Liverpool Wolves game? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. These three right. all yes, tomorrow morning right, about yeah. six thirty. Perfect. Yeah. Sick. Swansea should uh, get the job done over Bristol there at home in another replay. And then the final one for that is West Brom, who are six in the championship, so they're in the playoff spot at the moment. They're taking on Chesterfield. Do any of you know who Chesterfield? Oh, yeah, I've heard of them, but not. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Anything they about are them. fourth in the National League, which is the lowest league of professional sports in the UK, which is the league that Wrexham play in. So yeah, the wow. only reason we know of them is because Ryan of Reynolds, because <laughs> the Wrexham show, Deadpool. <laughs> yeah. So West Brom should absolutely pants them. You would think. I love uh, it. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so that's I'm pretty a, happy with that. Good nice. one. All right, best bets for today slash tomorrow. Mine's pretty easy. I think mine's tomorrow. It's uh, NHL. Yep. Our beloved. My beloved. <laughs> Seattle Kraken. They seem to be our go-to for the paper. We're chucking we the paper. They've had absolute, one in a row. So. Absolute ga- go-to. Good They've drink won, too. They had one yes. eight in a row. They're playing right now actually as we record. And uh, I think they are down, which sort of stinks. Oh, um, don't worry about it. Let's just, <laughs> <laughs> so, well, they might have just completely, I might have just actually jinxed them. But they're 26, 12 and 4 at the moment. Yeah, wow. Uh, you've got Matty Bean is just absolutely ca- uh, crushing it so far this season. Andre Burakowski. Um, they play the Edmonton Oilers, who are very, very ballyhooed, but not actually as good as the Kraken this year. Yeah. Right. And the Kraken just slightly, uh, you know, half decent on the road. 16, 4 and 2. Jesus. Away that's from home. Nice. They're a ridiculous that's record good. away from home. Know, the tricky awesome. part is on a back-to-back, an NHL back-to-back is oh. really tricky to uh, pick just because of the sheer physicality How of it. How tired would you be? I know. But just getting barraged into a wall. Or- I saw them at over $2.30 just head-to-head. Yeah, that's amazing, yeah. yeah. Um, if you want to go there, plus one and a half puck line or a half, so plus a half puck, Yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe you do that, but I like the head-to-head. Just go Seattle over Edmonton. They're really good Edmonton, don't get me wrong, but the Kraken are just that's absolutely good value for flying. That's good flying, yep. yeah, yeah. So they, I think they've just built in the idea that it's the back-to-back and it's on the road, but it just yep. doesn't take into account just how good the Kraken are on the road. Perfect. Yep. Stats guy, what do you got? Yeah, I'm going back to the Australian Open tonight's uh, matches on night are two. Are you literally just going to go? Like, oh, I'm going to go I'll, later in the week. I'll, oh, Alex I'll be there tonight. Yeah, yeah, I'll, so I'll be taking a sign with Stats can, guy's phone number there. Can you cheer on my- <laughs> Yeah, I'll be going to court seven to watch Sloane Stevens. She would have been my best bet, but I think that game's at like 4th. Yeah, yeah. You'll, have a, uh, you'll have a sign in the background going, Stats guy, make me your avi. <laughs> Where we go. At Stats guy. <laughs> yeah. Stats guy have to change his Twitter avatar to a picture of Alex. I'll yeah, like definitely it. not. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going- so, yeah, 
yesterday's podcast, I did just two players to absolutely smash it. They both got up, which was Medvedev to win in straight sets and Zwiontek yeah. to win in straight sets. That was around, yeah, $2 odds for the multi. So I'm doing another one today with the Aussie, Alex Demonor. He always kills it in the first round, the Demon. He uh, loves a serve and volley. He's really quick serve for his height. He's probably like my height and he's or just a slightly taller than me and he can hit a quick serve. I don't actually know, but he's really small for That's a- That's guy just guessing your guys. He's quiet. really small for a professional tennis player. How long is a piece of string? Yeah. <laughs> he's pretty small. Anyway, and then I think he's going to win in straight sets against uh, Su uh, from Korea. He hasn't um, had any experience really at the Grand Slam. He's been out in the first round a couple of times. And then Djokovic, I think, yeah, to absolutely smash it in his first round. Yeah. Minus 10 and a half games, $1.73. You multi them, $2.64. So, yeah. yeah. Dominor is our highest ranked Aussie as well. Yeah, now. so he's yeah. ranked uh, 22 in the – seeded 22 and ranked 24 in the world. So That's since, sick. Since uh, Kyrgios pulled out. Yeah. yeah, but also remember Kyrgios got no points for running up at Wimbledon. Otherwise, he would have been like in the top 50. Yeah, the oh, he should be in the top five if yeah. he had his head screwed on, but yeah. <laughs> Sure. He's got a knee injury this time. Did you see that photo on Instagram with all the gunk out of his No, oh, Ooh, I probably don't want to see that. <laughs> nice anyway, one. Alex, yeah. what's your best bet? Uh, so my best bet, FA Cup, Birmingham City to beat Forest Green at $1.90. Forest Green have lost their last six and are smack bang on the bottom of League One, so they're about to get relegated. They How are, the hell are they even making this far in the FA Cup? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they played like, uh, you know, the, the National League Rexham, teams. Yeah. Uh, and Birmingham have won nine of their last 10 against League One sides in the FA Cup, so a buck 90 with Blue I like bet. that a lot. Yeah. Get on. Thank you very much. That's sick. I like that. Forest Green. It sounds like it's, a kink song. I'd, I'd, honestly, it sounds I'll, shocking, be, yeah. I'll be honest. I'd never heard of them. And I looked I've them up and, I, them, like, and I went through their last like three months. I'm like, oh, you guys suck. That's unfortunate. I think I've seen them on my FIFA. And, yeah, good luck Not too them. good. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You just judge most of the things of what you've seen on FIFA. Yeah, right. really play cards. Yeah. There you go. Done. Code bit daily done for today. We'll be back on deck tomorrow. Yep. Probably all of us again. We'll see how we go. Yeah. Uh, get right around the show. Obviously, subscribe on your podcast app. Like, review, star. Give us a star. Yeah. Yeah. Give us a star. How many stars you got? Please give us five because yeah. five actually helps five would be much better than one uh <laughs> what else check us a follow on the socials that's right abuse Facing. stats guy for tipping spanish players in round one on hard courts oh, geez. dog and the boys i should listen to the boys. podcast yesterday yeah. they all got up <laughs> yeah but your paper one didn't it cost us money <laughs> facey ig twitter talk tiktok uh send in any questions by the socials leo will be there to answer them <laughs> and uh okay. that's it i think where thanks. is leo thanks that's guy thank you thanks alex yeah you're welcome thanks gerald to you know, our producer, Thank crushing you. it as always. Always does a great job. I like his producer hat today, by the way. He had it on earlier. Nice. It says producer on it. <laughs> yeah. It's, like, it's good. Uh, <laughs> nice one. Thanks to me for being rad. And uh, what do we say, Stats Guy? Gamble responsibly. And may all your picks come in happy punting. Yep. That's it. We'll catch you in a bit. Cobit Daily, out.